Hello everybody, Josh came across here. Just wanted to uh, bring you some more useful information about some camping gear that I've recently been able to test. I uh, had some people from G4 Free send me a chair to review. I've had this chair for uh, a couple months now and uh, I think I finally got a good solid idea of what I think of this chair. And so I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. Um, so, um, first of all, this is what the chair looks like in the bag. Uh, it's fairly small, about like the size of a loaf of bread. Um, now, uh, this chair uh, just has a single zipper on it. This bag has a single zipper on it. <laughs> and, uh... Um, the chair itself is about two and a half pounds and we're looking at a aluminum frame with a plastic hub that all the uh, the posts go into the um, all the aluminum posts are all bungeed into the frame and uh, the fabric that goes on the frame is nylon and there's uh, some mesh sections on it too that help with breathability. So uh, next step, we're just gonna put this chair together real quick. Um, one of the things I should mention at this point is uh, this, this particular model has adjustable legs. Um, if you can see that. Um, you've got like a, a pin that you can push in and uh, and then this will slide in and out and so you've got three different adjustment spots um, and while I'm talking about that I will mention that I've had this chair in sand and uh, uh, this gets mucked up real easily if you get these legs in sand and you're trying to do anything with them um, they're just they just get mucked up real real easy and so um, I would actually recommend if you go with this particular style of chair um, that you avoid the adjustable legs and just get the, uh, the standard legs on it. Uh, tip of the day, I guess, for that. And then the uh, when you're putting the fabric on, um, there are two different colors for the pockets. Um, the ones that go on top of the frame are gray and then the ones that go on the bottom of the frame are black. So you just take the two gray ones, put them on either post. Actually, uh, when, you're, when you're putting this part on, something that uh, somebody suggested to me I thought was a pretty sweet idea somebody somebody might not or might be wondering what uh, what you do with this um, sometimes you just leave it in the chair or you set it underneath the chair but we actually found a practical use for it if you put it on the bottom two posts of the chair like this um, and leave it unzipped it actually works as a pretty good like a hammock for like a drink or something like that so even though this doesn't have cup holders um, um, you can still kind of uh, have a drink at the ready, hopefully as long as it has a lid. <laughs> so you get that all set up, and that gives you uh, the chair itself. Um, and this this is the next part of this chair that um, I really like, is the, uh, the seat height of this chair. Uh, now I've I've had a, an A-Lite Mantis chair for a while. You've, Maybe, maybe you've seen that other video. Uh, it's a very nice chair and I thought it was the best chair. Uh, but since I've had this chair, I've gotten so used to the seat height and how comfortable it is and how easy it is to just stand right up. And, uh, and that's a huge deal because uh, a lot of times in the other chairs, when you go to get up, you've got to use both of your hands to push yourself off the chair and uh, uh, you might have other things in your hands that you have to get rid of just to get out of your chair or you can try getting up without any hands but you might fall over or whatever and 
it's pretty funny for everybody else at least. <laughs> so actually, uh, after having this chair, as long as I have just for the last two couple months um, over the main season of backpacking and camping with the family, uh, I've actually found myself preferring this chair over the A-Lite Mantis chair. And um, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to be uh, kind of disappointed with the quality and everything like that. But with the price and, and, and how comfortable the chair is, it's, it's really hard to not like this chair. Um, so I, uh, I actually would recommend picking up a chair like this if you don't already have a chair. Um, it's, it's very comfortable. And uh, um, there is one more thing that I want to mention as I'm taking the chair back apart is um, there's a lot of different chairs out there that use um, these, these frames that have the bungee cord in them. And uh, one thing that um, I've learned over time is that if you store the chair with the, um, with the, the posts pulled out and everything's all um, uh, torn down, uh, the bungee cord that's in here is most, most stressed when it's in this state. And you've got things pulled out and the bungee cord stretched out to allow the poles to bend. Um, so I, I recommend that if you have any sort of chair that uses this style of frame that you actually store it uh, with everything um, put together, not torn down. Um, that'll allow the life of the bungees to last longer. And uh, um, hopefully you get more life or more use out of uh, the chair. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else uh, that we've done, uh, subscribe to our channel, take a look at our other videos. Uh, we also have a website, campingcross.com that we uh, put recipes and that sort of stuff that are uh, good options for either backpacking or, or family car camping. Um, some good tips and other things in there as well. So if you want, go ahead and check that out. That's also in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy camping.